Okay, now we are going to use a bow to create a portal effect. So we'll have a portal we can jump into and we will come out of another portal. So the first thing we're going to need to do is give ourselves some custom arrows and a bow. So bow, entrance portal arrows, exit portal arrows. Boink. Now, could just be any bow give nearest player a bow we don't have to put any information in here because it's the arrows will will contain tags and colors and things so we will use those to determine if it's entrance or exit but let's give the bow some information just because we can display let's give it a name apostrophe speech marks speech marks apostrophe and let's give it some law apostrophe speech marks speech marks apostrophe Okay, it's going to be a portal bow, and we'll say just an ordinary renamed bow. Full stop. Done. Okay, this is going to be always active chain, and this is where we're going to put in some tags and things for the arrows. So let's give the nearest player tipped arrow. And I want 64. So let's get some information in here. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to give it a tag. So this will be um, exit arrow, that's his tag. Exit arrow colon 1B and a custom potion color. Now these colors are a bit strange. Uh, you can use or you can Google for a Minecraft give command generator and they should allow you to pick the colors like to give you the correct numbers or in the notes with this video i will put a few of the basic colors and you can just copy and paste them for the exit arrow i'm going to choose orange um, 16750848 is an orangey color uh, that will do let's also give this some information we don't need to this is purely for us display We'll give it a name, apostrophe, speech marks, speech marks, apostrophe, and we'll give it some law, apostrophe, speech marks, speech marks, apostrophe. That's not an apostrophe. This is an exit arrow that'll do. <clears throat> what does it do? It creates, I want a capital letter, creates an exit portal when it hits the ground and I am going to go to the end shift home and copy all of that copy and I'm going to paste it in there this one creates an entrance portal when it hits the ground so we better change some stuff better change its name entrance arrow and let's change its color I'm going to go for a blue color for this one um, 2056959 that will be a blue and let's change its tag it's not going to be an exit it's going to be an entrance done oops needs redstone no chain yes always active chain press the button we've got a bow and we've only got one set of arrows so oh we cut it by the look of it that was a bit silly let's Copy that, put it in there, creates an exit portal. It is an exit arrow. We want to change its color. That was very silly. 16750848. And let's change its tag. Exit. Done. Press it again. OK. Let's get rid of all these extra stuff and press the button one final time. So we've got a renamed bow, portal bow, just an ordinary renamed bow. We've got the exit arrows and we've got the entrance arrows. Cool. How to decide which arrow is going to be fired? You can put it into your offhand. So if we are in game mode survival, at the moment, it will pick the first arrow in the list, so exit arrow will become first. 
put it into our offhand, let's fire the blue ones. There we go, switch to exit. Lovely, let's take them back out of the offhand. Now, once they've hit the floor, they become ordinary arrows. Look, we've got eight ordinary arrows now. That doesn't matter for us. We're okay with that. Let's give bow, oh, it does not say bow. Give bow and arrows. Now let's do some command block stuff. We'll have to go back into game mode creative. I'm going to put a lever on there. Boink. And needs redstone. Yeah, we've got a lever. Repeat. Okay, what are we going to do? We are going to execute at any entity um, type equals arrow nbt equals so it has to be in the ground 1b and it has to have a color and the color we gave to the entrance arrow was 2056959 I believe we'll find out if that's not right later so execute at any arrow in the ground with that color run kill any entity with the tag entrance marker well, we don't have any entrance markers yet let's create one boink always active chain execute at any entity type equals arrow let's see if we can spell correctly mbt equals um, in ground color uh, what's the color for the entrance Two oh five six nine five nine. yep run summon an area effect cloud um, at the location of the arrow and we want to give it some tags well just one tag really this will be entrance marker so that's now we have an entrance marker and area effect clouds also need a duration and I'm going to give it the maximum duration you can which is two one four seven four eight three six four seven that's a long time I think that's the highest integer you can have okay so what are we doing when the arrow hits the ground we are removing all things tagged entrance marker then we are creating a new area effect cloud tagged entrance marker at the arrow okay that's going to be very hard to check because area effect clouds are invisible now that's going to keep running because the arrow is going to be in the ground let's get rid of the arrow execute at entity type equals arrow mbt equals in ground so if there is one in the ground what are we going to do we are going to run kill at any entity with an nbt equals we're going to check its color and the color we gave to the entrance arrow 2056959 okay so the first command block rem the arrow hits the ground the first command block removes all entrance markers the second command block creates a new entrance marker at the arrow the third command block removes the arrow okay fourth command block we want to be able to see this portal so we better give it some particles execute at any entity with the tag entrance marker yep that should do run particle minecraft dust we're going to pick dust because you can change the color of dust so we can match the color to the um, arrow colors 
and we're going to want blue so no red no green all blue the one on the alpha channel and where are we going to create it we're going to create it at the arrow uh, how big on the x y z let's do 0.2 on the x 0.3 on the y 0.2 on the z how fast do we want it to go i find this is a nice speed for this 0 0.0001 and how many particles five and let's force it so you can see the particles no matter how far away you are done let's fire an entrance arrow and see what happens excellent oh it's a bit low in the ground well, i don't really like that let's move those particles and let's put them one up that is better okay so that's going to be our entrance portal we can move that around so first command block destroy the existing marker second command block create a new marker third command block remove the arrow which is fired fourth command block is creating the particles now i think if these go into unloaded chunks they won't get destroyed and we might have sort of entrances and exits building up this might cause a problem later so i'm also going to put a command here to remove them if they're too far away from us so i am going to execute at the player at entity distance uh, equals 20 or more so if it's further than 20 blocks away and it also has to have the tag entrance marker run kill at entity tag equals entrance marker okay so if the entrance marker is more than 20 blocks away from the player we will kill the entrance marker so let's move back a bit looking about 20 blocks there it goes excellent so now we're not going to have entrances and exits building up everywhere if they go into unloaded chunks and we have an entrance only one at a time that we can move around cool Right, so basically we're just going to copy these now for the exit. Let's get a sign. Let's, let's just put something on there so we know. That's the entrance. Okay, easiest way to copy these. Let's just use control and middle mouse button to copy the whole lot. Put a lever on top. Okay, and let's change this. So it's going to be the exit this time. So let's change its tag, exit marker. Let's change its number or its color number. And for the exit, we had 16750848. Uh, in the ground, that's fine. Type arrow, that's fine. Okay, that one's done. Control, middle mouse, copy the next one. Turn it on. Okay, we are summing an exit marker. Anything else we need to change here? Yeah, the color. one six seven five oh eight four eight anything else we need to change nope that looks good let's copy the next one control middle mouse uh, we need to change the color here one six seven five oh eight four eight it's going quite hard to remember that number anything else we need to change nope let's copy the next one control middle mouse Okay, so we're going to probably want to change that color. We'll do that in a minute. We will use execute at the tag exit marker. Let's change the color. So at the moment we've got blue. We want an orangey color. So we're probably going to want some red, um, full red, um, a bit of a bit of green, and a bit of blue. That should be sort of an orangey color. Everything else will stay the same. Last one, control middle mouse. And this will be targeting the exit marker if it's too far away. Is that everything we need to change there? Yes, done. Okay, so we should now be able to move the entrance around. And if we switch to have the exit, excellent, okay. So now we want to be able to step into the entrance 
and get teleported to the exit. We should be able to do that with one command block. Let's clear the command that's already in there. So execute at any entity tag equals entrance marker at the nearest player distance equals um, how close distance equals between naught and 0 0.5 so you have to be right on top of it run teleport the nearest player to an entity tagged exit marker now why doesn't that work well we could have many entities with the tag exit marker and it can't teleport us to all of them so we're going to have to put a limit limit equals one which is okay for us because we've only ever got one exit at a time anyway done let's turn that on now if we get too close to this we teleport to the exit so let's build let's build a wall so we got up here a nice high wall and on top of that wall there is a platform we can't get up there what we could do is we can fire our exit up there and then we can whoop, jump up okay good so we're pretty much done basically but there is a slight problem what we can do is if we had something like this we can fire the exit oh i don't want to place a sign we can fire the exit underneath there and now we're going to be teleporting into a hole now i don't like the idea of that and we, if it was the entrance we couldn't get in there either so we let's do a little bit of block checking so where should we put any empty space will do um i'll pick on top of this pillar so let's this block and this block i'm going to use these two blocks to check so let's get the coordinates fill tab 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 28576 let's copy that and what's this one the entrance let's go into here this is where we're creating the new entrance marker and let's go to the beginning so execute arrow in the ground that's its color summon the area effect well let's put an if in here if blocks if blocks and um, the block we took the uh, coordinates from and the one above the block we took the coordinates from so if those two blocks equal the blocks at the arrow and we want to match all okay so what are we doing there if the blocks the two blocks we selected are the same as the two blocks at the arrow so if this block here and this block here are the same as the blocks where we're firing now it won't be at the moment so we're checking for one air and one gray wool so if we fire the entrance arrow it doesn't work now it's not summoning a new entrance because we don't have air then gray wool if we fire it over here we do have air and gray wool so it's going to work now obviously this is the wrong way around we want air and air so let's get rid of that so now we can fire it out here but we shouldn't be able to fire it under there so now we can't have an entrance hiding in a little hole let's do the same for the exit we don't want to teleport into a tiny gap so let's go here and let's get this if command bit we've put in so we want all of this bit here from run all the way to the if copy and let's put that into the exit one as well so where's our run there's our run so let's paste that in there and now it's the same for the exit so the exit can now only go into a space shouldn't be able to go under here perfect and that's it done so now if you want to teleport around we can simply fire down an entrance switch to our exit arrows pop an exit up there hey there we go and we can teleport between the two perfect there we go that's how we uh, create 
a, uh, a portal bow that creates portals that we can then use to step from the entrance to the exit to teleport around maybe some sort of parkour map or something. Okay, I will see you in the next video.